While we've grown out weep nitty bong, I'm Engineer Hoist. Welcome to the weekly Transformers Earth Wars and other Transformers news stream here on my channel. If it's your first time here, consider subscribing and then hit that bell so you can be notified. There are a couple levels of notifications. If you want to get a notification every time I go live, choose all. Otherwise, you might miss out a little bit. I know that's been a problem for some people, so I just want to put that out there let everybody know. Um, also, I want to start off like we usually do, saying hello to everybody in the chat. So, Lightning Striker has been waiting patiently for the stream to start. Uh, I saw Big D in here. Tyler YT, uh, Destroy a Fire Race, Super Prime Games, Dragon Storm, Gus Britt, Oktar Starscream, Sharksy is here as usual. I saw Grand Galvatron here earlier. I'm sure he'll be back. Uh, Danielle Miller... William Wilkinson, uh, welcome to everybody. And yes, Shark Z found, saw the new shirt. That's right, I had to change it up. Uh, big bronze ribs here. Got, I went and got a, a new shirt. It's the uh, Kremzeek shirt. I got it from 80stees.com in, in case you're uh, wondering. I did get a few other shirts which I'll be debuting over the next coming weeks. Uh, one of the reasons why I wanted to get a new shirt before we get to the news, I just want to let everybody know I am going to TFCon this year in D.C. coming up here in a couple of weeks. I actually got my tickets a little while ago, and I just haven't really mentioned it to everybody. Uh, so if any of you guys are going to TFCon, uh, I hope to see you there. I know some of the other YouTubers, like I know Patriot Prime, who I was on the Citrup with, I know he's been talking about it a lot. Um, but yeah, so it's going to be my first Transformers convention. Don't know what it's like. Um, going to be there. Oh, I forgot to turn off the, uh, the, um, <laughs> the, uh, do not disturb. So that was a notification for some other game. Uh, let me go ahead and do that. And we'll get back <laughs> the background music here, uh, real quick. Yeah, so, so it's going to be my first convention, uh, that I've been to in, um, oh, yeah, it's, technical issues that, that I've been to for really anything uh, like Transformers. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I, I signed up for the customizing class. I'm really looking forward to that. And um, so uh, I'm not sure what kind of content I'm going to be putting out for that because I, I might just, being the first time, I might just enjoy it, uh, take some pictures and report on it afterwards. Because, you know, there's going to be plenty of other people out there doing doing that. So, um, it's at, at Soundwave in D.C., it's actually in Reston, Virginia. It's a little bit outside of D.C., but it's, it's the D.C. is the biggest uh, area, uh, biggest city closest to it. So, I think that's why they caught, they're calling it there. So, um, okay, so enough of that. But, yeah, I'm looking forward to going to TFCon in a couple of weeks and if i see you guys there you, you know what i look like i don't really know what you guys look like but uh uh come on come on up and say hi and i'd be lo love to chat with you in person okay so let's get to the transformers earth wars news which i know is what everybody's been is uh well most people are here for uh this weekend the weekend's event is called barren lands it's kind of a similar theme to calm waters which was the last weekend's event uh, so it'd be, I'm not sh entirely sure what the connection is there. Um, but, but that'll be, uh, interesting to see. And, uh, yes, we do have, we're, we are going to talk about some new toys that were talked about at the uh, New York Comic Con. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll be, uh, talking about that once we get through the Transformers Earth Wars news. Uh, this weekend is a Super XP and Five Star Shards event. And uh, it's an alliance event, uh, up to 90,000 spark, 3,000 premium crystal shards, 605 star shards just from the totalizer, and up to 120 warfare crystals, which gives you an opportunity to get even more 5 star shards or 4 star or 3 star shards. Uh, as mentioned, it is an Alliance Totalizer. The start and end times are the usual Friday and Monday times for your time zone. There are 60 prestiges, but how do we have 120 crystals? It's because each prestige, you get two crystals. And as mentioned, super XP. So get out there and um, level your bots, guys. All right, so how do you participate? you got to be headquarters level 4 so you can join an Alliance, and you have to stay in that Alliance for the event. I uh, hit that yellow event button like you see in the game now for the raids if you're an alliance. And uh, pick your battle zone, gather, win the battle, gather the points, and collect your prizes. Just like every other event. And um, uh, jumped ahead a little too quick. The event battle zones. 
They are the standard battle zones. And the and the each prestige is ten thousand points for the alliance, but you get a lot of rewards in, in each prestige. Uh, so you get spark, you get crystal shard, premium and five star crystal shards, warfare crystals, two warfare crystals. It's very similar to previous five star events, except we they added spark rewards in place of energon and alloy rewards. So definitely a huge increase in the amount of spark that you can get. Pretty much the same amount of five star shards and double the chance, double the crystals. So very cool, very cool. And the Warfare Crystal Rewards, it's exactly the same as the last crystals that they had. I, I already forgot what they were and I just updated this slide yesterday. <laughs> but whatever they were, it's the exact same uh, possibilities. Actually, no, the three star shards values went down a little bit. So you could, whether it's five star, four star, or three star, you can win 50, 25, or 10 of each. Obviously, the three star shards are probably going to show up more often than the four star, which are going to show up more often than the five star. You know, that's just how it works, guys. Uh, so there we go with that. And if you got the newsletter, um, they gave out a, a loot link for their autumn gift. They did the same thing with the uh, in the summertime for the summer gift. And um, if you do, did not get the newsletter, there is a link for this in the description of the video. It should work. Uh, I didn't get the full... I had to kind of massage the loot link because it, it had a whole bunch of gunk in there to make it work. I, it should work. So if you haven't collected it already, uh, go ahead and click that link. And it will give you five bronze, three silver, and one gold power cord chip. 5,000 spark and 2,000 premium shards. So very cool. It's awesome that they do this. And uh, I'm, I'm very happy to see that. In addition to that, in the newsletter and even in the game, they, they give you links to their Facebook page. Or they also post them on their Twitter, um, the Transformers Earth Wars Twitter account. Loot links for this Energon a ton event community event that they're running this week. We talked about this last week, and there's five levels, and you can see the levels there. And as of this morning, when they sent out the newsletter, we almost completed it. Uh, ten million, ten. I'm sorry, ten billion Energon spent upgrading power cores is what was needed across the entire Transformers Earth Wars community. To unlock all these prizes and we unlocked the first four levels and are just a little bit shy of the fifth level in fact we've probably already crossed that by this point today and so far if you click all four of the links again if you didn't get the newsletter or go to one of their social media sites in the description of this video are those four links if you click all four of them you will receive 900 prime core shards 15,000 spark and 1500 premium shards with um, Probably tomorrow, the fifth link, uh, giving the rest of the rewards there at the level five uh, amount, which uh, where I'm looking right now is a little too small to read, but I, I think you guys can read it. Uh, but yeah, you're going to get more more prime core shards, more spark, and more premium shards. Uh, Optimus Prime saying, if we do another one, we might need to do 100 billion. Yeah, I know this was uh, done pretty quick. They'll probably uh, raise those levels next time. Uh, so let's see haven't crossed it well we may have crossed it but even if we did they wouldn't tell us until tomorrow at um, roughly the time they send out the newsletter which is 10 a.m. Uh, Eastern time uh, so what whatever time that that you usually get the newsletter is what time that they would actually post that so even if we've hit it by now we still wouldn't get that notification in the link until that time uh, tomorrow so but yeah so there you go uh, and if you want even more you can uh, stop by my discord channel which I put a link in the chat there's also one down in the description of the video uh, I do have some engineer hoist secret stash loot links that uh, I'll be giving out uh, hop in there and uh, there's just a, a little giveaway sometimes I'll just hop in there and do some trivia but usually it's just a, a little giveaway uh, bot that I've got in in the server where you go and you just click a reaction and it automatically randomly chooses the winners and by being in discord I can private message you the link so that somebody else doesn't snipe it 
Uh, so so that that's the only reason I do it there as opposed to say here on YouTube because if I just put it in the loot if I put it in the description or in the chat or something like that it, it'd be first come first serve so that way it gives it a little bit more uh, fair odds and you can win shark to con boosters spark or premium shards and last thing to talk about for the Transformers Earth Wars is tomorrow. There is no official live stream on the Transformers Earth Wars uh, social media channels like there usually is. This is their off week. They'll be back next week at the usual time over there on their YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook uh, social media channels. So, let's check, check in the chat before we move on a little bit. We do have some toy news. We'll get to that a little bit. Oh, and I got a lot of crystals. We, we got the VIP gift on Monday, so I got a lot of crystals to crack. So stick around after we talk about the toy news if you want to see some crystal cracking goodness and see how good or bad I do. Is Crimson going to be a, a factor? Who, we'll, we'll, we'll find out. Uh uh last, last john griffin is asking what is your favorite combiner engineer hoist uh well depends on what the context is uh in the game volcanicus is definitely my favorite combiner victorian is really good i've yet to really use defense or a whole lot i still have him leveling he's still just a three star looking for that four star streetwise of course i've got two two crystal kraken videos so far looking for him and nothing um but uh, although he did get a surprise three-star rook in one of them maybe we'll find him in one of these crystals actually no i don't think so i don't think it if he's available in the premium crystals we might get him because i do have a bunch of premium crystals in there i do have a three-star crystal and i have a four-star crystal actually to crack open in addition to those power cord chips so we'll go and see what those are uh otherwise outside of the game i would have to say my, my favorite combiner, I, I always say, say it's Computron, just because uh, back in the days of G1, when I was a kid, when I was the prime audience for Transformers, that was the only combiner that I actually completed back then. So uh, it's it kind of got that special place in, in my heart. Of, but uh, yeah, I think all combiners are, are really cool. Uh, again, the Volcanicus, the toy is not the best, but I mean, it's, it's still pretty cool. I got the uh, an upgrade kit for it. It makes it a little bit better. Uh, Defensor, Abominus, uh, Predaking, Def Devastator, of course. Uh, all very cool. So, who is the next bot? We don't know yet. We don't know yet. The, uh, I saw some of you guys talking about Scattershot. So, leads right there into Computron, whereas Scattershot is the torso of Computron. They did kind of mention him in passing in the dialogue in the story this past week whether that's a hint at who's coming or not it remains to be seen but there's definitely been no um strong hint uh about any other new bots coming so m my feeling is we'll get a stronger hint this weekend and we'll find out who it is in next week's uh, newsletter. That That's my guess. I have a feeling we'll find out who it is in next week's newsletter, but have a pretty strong hint this weekend to go and fuel our speculation leading up to next week's uh, live stream and stuff like that. Oh, they did. They confirmed it's not him. Okay, well, there you go. But uh, I still think we'll probably get a, a, a some kind of a hint this weekend. Uh, not necessarily, but it's, it's usually how it goes. Okay. So, let's let's talk about some toys. First off, guys, I don't know about anybody else. I, I think Big Bronze Rim said that he um, that he uh, backed this as well, and a few other people in there. Uh, let's see. Uh oh, what did I do? What did I do? Somehow, uh, I got my buttons mixed up. Okay, Unicron in HasLab. Unicron has been funded. They reached the 8,000 backer mark. In fact, at the last minute, in the last couple of days, they went beyond 8,000. Uh, some reports saying it was as much as 11,000 they got to. Um, and I was definitely one of them. And I, I backed it like day one or day two. 
Uh, you guys saw the video if you've been following this channel for a while. I even talked, I even separated out a portion of the live stream for a whole separate video talking about this guy. And we've checked in a few times. And man, this guy is going to be tough to wait a year and a half or so before they actually get this guy. But, um, but yeah, so he is officially funded. And we got this cool little email. It's just a little snippet. I, I didn't put grab the whole thing. It's official. Uticron is yours, meaning mine. So uh, I think that's cool. That's right, because the fans like you, the largest Transformers figure in Hasbro history is about to come to life. So very cool. Mark Morales says, hey, I bought that big boy Uticron. That's right, man. Oh, Big D hit it right. Kremzy is acting up. That's why I'm having trouble with it. No, I'm just pressing the wrong buttons. It's been a while since I did the toy news this way. Um, so, <laughs> but yes, we'll blame it on the Kremzy. Okay, so. All right, so let's get to the reveals from this past weekend at New York Comic Con. We talked a little bit. We kind of got a preview last week. Leading up to it, they... they showed a few images like Optimus Prime and Grapple and Starscream and Ironworks. Well, they revealed the rest of the f presumably first wave of the Earthrise figures. And the rumor, as you saw in the thumbnail, is indeed true. We're getting a hoist. So that just means that I I'm lobbying uh, more for getting Hoist in the game because he's going to be a new figure coming out, so it makes sense to get him in the game. Still, uh, you know, I just, I just think it, I think it'd be cool to see him because I'd love to have my avatar be a Hoist figure, but uh, or a Hoist picture. But anyway, okay, so we did see these guys last week too. Uh, the Hot MicroMaster Hot Rod Patrol. This is Daddy O which is the uh, the black one used to be called Big Daddy back in the day and Trip Up is the white one. So we we took a look at those guys in that earlier reveal. So that would be pretty cool. Uh we did not see these guys. So these are new, the Military Patrol. I do not know who what the names of these guys are, but they are new figures. They're not the same as the other MicroMasters from Siege. Uh one of the guys turns into a tank, one of the guys turns into some kind of a uh armored car artillery gun some of you guys out there might know who it is i did not do my research on these guys i just kind of grabbed the picture and put the slides together and all that stuff so um yeah if grand galvatron if they get hoist in the game hoist 100 will be my permanent new icon uh for sure maybe a, maybe occasionally i might switch him out if uh if uh, we get another golden lagoon type of a icon where it's a kind of just a special one i might switch it out temporarily but definitely it would be going back to hoist and i wouldn't even care if somebody else is using them because i i generally try to avoid the avatar that other people in the alliance are using so i can just be unique or whatever but you know i don't care if the whole entire rest of the alliance is using a hoist icon i'll definitely be having mine as hoist again this is just wishing right now. This is not speculation. This is not confirmation. This is just a wish. It's a complete wish that we get Hoist in, in, in the game. So, so don't go say, hey, Engineer Hoist said they're making a figure. No. No, they're, they're not, no, there's no confirmation, no anything about Hoist coming to the game. It's just wishing. Uh, so, okay. So we saw this guy in the um, uh, last stream too, Ironworks. He is a deluxe class, very similar to the Weaponizer's like Brunt or, uh, I'm looking around to see if I have one nearby. No, I must have put them away. Uh, like, like Brunt or Cog or Six Gun. Except instead of becoming weapons for other figures, he actually turns into like a little bit of a base. Kind of like what you see down there in the corner. This is kind of an homage back to another G1 figure where he did not actually have a robot mode. He was just like a MicroMaster base. But now they've actually given him a robot style figure and presumably there will be more of this style of a bot coming in the Earthrise line and that would be pretty cool it's i don't know if you guys remember micro masters or i mean uh micro machines micro machines you know the little cars with uh, john machida the voice of blur uh you know just talked super fast even faster than i could talk sometimes um but uh so that would be 
Um, so, so the, where the bases, they, they, anyway, the micro machines had the, you know, like little, little car, uh, little, little scenes, like city scenes where they were, they were like little squares that you could kind of hook them all together. And I think that's, this was kind of the same idea where you had like these different little bases where you could hook them together. And it's certainly what they're doing in with Earthrise where they've got kind of like the ramps and stuff like that. And, uh, they just kind of connect together. So that would be pretty cool. Um, Tran Augustine, the autumn gift link is not working. Uh, you mean like in my description? Yeah, that might be. I kind of had to try to cobble that together. It wasn't a direct copy of the link, so I apologize if that's not working. I'll try to f see if I can fix it after the stream. Um, so if you have a newsletter, it's it's in the newsletter. They they may even have a a, a link to it in the um, game. Uh, let's see. I know they have links to each of the other ones no i don't see i don't see it in the game where they show a link to it or anything like that so is he an oil rig i don't know entirely sure what he is he's kind of like yeah it could be kind of an oil rig kind of a thing you know so uh red alert saying it, it worked so uh if it's not working one of the things you definitely need to make sure you do anytime you click a loot link you have to make sure you fully close the app so you need to make sure that like you go into the app switcher or something and fully close it don't just exit back to the home screen do that but then at fully close the app and then click the link on the device that has is playing your game so that is one of the things that might be something that you're doing so okay moving on to the more toys let's see let's hit the right button cliff jumper we did not see him and this guy looks great he's actually looks a lot like that masterpiece bumblebee that we got not the newest one but uh the the original masterpiece bumblebee we got um the, i mean not exactly but very similar to uh how, how he was and i love that he's got that huge glass gas uh gun uh just like he he does the uh, glass gas in the uh, in the game, he's you know, that th the reason he does the glass gas in the game is because of that episode, and because of his bio from G1, and that, that, that's what he's got. So my, it looked to me like he's actually going to be a little bit of a smaller figure not, uh, for a deluxe class, as he should be. He's not going to be a full deluxe class size, but that gun adds the extra little bit to it. And if you look at the the one car mode um, to the bottom, it looks like he's actually got skis under his front wheels, and so. So that that's pretty cool. Um, the, the, uh, there there was one episode where they I think it was one of the earlier ones where they actually were kind of going out to do the oil rig and they made a lot of them kind of popped uh, skis underneath the cars to make them make them be kind of like hydrofoils or something like that. So so that that's pretty cool. And um, lightning strikers say, who cares? We want bumblebee. The interesting thing about that is we almost always get bumblebee first. And then a retool into Cliff Jumper. Well, this is actually opposite. We're getting Cliff Jumper first, and then Bumblebee. And I think this is following the trend that they've been doing uh, lately of what I like to call, and I've heard other people call it too, pre-paints. You know, you've heard the term repaint before, where like you'll you'll see Optimus Prime, and then you get Nemesis Prime out of him, and the Nemesis Prime is a repaint. Basically, it's Optimus Prime in another color. You know, Inferno and Grapple are another one. Hoist and Trailbreaker are very similar, where you get the, you know, of uh, 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 the original figure, and then the other one is slightly different, different colors. They call it a repaint. You know, Bumblebee and Cliff Jumper are very similar, where you typically you get a Bumblebee and then you get a red version and call them Cliff Jumper. Well, now they're bringing Cliff Jumper out first, and then Bumblebee. Uh, well, presumably Bumblebee. Um, the first I noticed this was back in Power of the Primes, where we got that um, that Optimus Prime and Megatron, which were very clearly Octane and Blitzwing. Uh, but we got Optimus Prime and Megatron first before we got the Optimus Prime or the um, Octane and Blitzwing. So, but yeah, it's pretty pretty cool. But yeah, Cliff Jumper looks great. Moving on, Wheel Jack. So yeah. Another good-looking bot, uh, very similar to the standard Wheeljack transformation, and uh, I'm not sure what a whole lot what else to say. I mean, he just, he just looks he just looks right, you know. Uh, doesn't really stand out in any particular way other than just being a good representation of Wheeljack, um, and and the, the even the car mode is closer to. The original race car mode than the than the um, the generations one was, which was more of kind of like a 
uh, hot rod style thing. So, but yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing Wheeljack uh, too. Because, and um, yeah, definitely better than that Combiner Wars. All the classic characters that they did for the Combiner Wars, like Wheeljack and Mirage and uh, Ironhide and those guys, they were that was just all wrong. It was just they, they they forced them in there probably just so they could keep the trademarks or whatever. And, and you know, I get that. But they're just not very good representations of these figures, you know. But uh, I got them anyway, because, you know, that's what I do. Next up is Hoist. This guy is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Very true to G1. Uh, complete with the little arm things hanging off the back, which I've never been a fan of, but it's part of the character. And uh, very cool. Um... Yeah, the transformation actually looks like it's probably very similar to the G1 too. It's almost like an updated G1 figure with better articulation. Not a big fan of the big orange fist cannon. I wish that would come like in the uh, in the uh, the white version or something. You know, the same color as the arm or, or whatever. But uh, maybe that's just prototype and it will be that color. Um, one can hope. Uh, I'm not holding my breath for it. Uh, but other than that, I think I think it looks great. He's even got the, you know, the trailer, uh, or you know, the the tow rig on the back, and he's got kind of like got the wing. They, they're not really wings, but they kind of look like wings because they stick up in the back or whatever, and they just kind of fold back and sit on top, very similar to the G1. And um, apparently, the little uh, towing ramp that he's got there actually can connect for some reason. To like, I think I want to say Omega Supreme, but that may, that might not be correct. But but the other Earthrise figures anyway, like um, um, Ironworks and uh, things like that. So so that's pretty that's pretty cool. Uh, Grand Galvatron says looks like he's holding it, shoved a traffic cone down there. Yeah, it's like yeah, he's like holding a traffic cone. Uh, that's very cool. Um, <laughs> very very uh very good observation there i didn't did not even occur to me but uh yeah it does totally look like a traffic cone um but yeah i'm really looking forward to this guy i've actually already got him pre-ordered uh on amazon Spe speaking of amazon if you guys if any of you guys want to pre-order these guys they are available on amazon and i have an amazon store if you head over there i uh, put the link in the chat it's also in the description of the video if you go over there and you decide to purchase something from there i will receive a small portion of it you're not going to pay any extra it's just like shopping on amazon anyway uh, any other way but you uh, you will help support the channel so uh, you can sh check on over there I've got all of these uh, Earthrise figures links to the Earthrise figures there. I've got some of the siege figures um, Some of the siege figures are actually on sale a little bit right now like red alert and brunt are a couple bucks off uh, Shockwave ultra Magnus are a few bucks off. So if, you, if you're looking for those guys uh, head on over there um, But yeah, like I said, I, I do uh, get a small commission if you ch happen to click that link and choose to buy something from from over there um and if you do i'd appreciate it and uh but please don't feel like you have to go and and do all that uh it's just an option for you and to help to help support without having to you know sign up with the directly or whatever so big runs rim saying that the little connectors said they do work with omega so very cool speaking of omega mine was supposed to show up today in fact it did show up today but it required a signature and I wasn't here. So, uh, <laughs> so hopefully, uh, so I'll have to, to do something to, to tell UPS, you know, figure out some way to get it from UPS. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so it was supposed to be here today. I'm like, okay, it's here today. And then he walked away without dropping anything off. And I looked, Oh, signature required. Anyway, next up, of course, hoist buddy grapple. You can't have grapple without hoist. You can't have hoist without grapple. Well, I suppose you could, but I mean, they are very, you know, featured together quite a bit. And uh, we did see Grapple last week, and yeah, he just looks amazing. He's another one. Looks The transformation looks almost identical to the G1 transformation, where the arms kind of fold back in there. The chest is his, uh, uh, the, just the cab of his uh, crane, and the crane kind of hangs off the back. Which is a little different than um, the the masterpiece. The masterpiece found a way to fold it up into the chest, so it didn't ha hang off the back. Where the, these aren't pulling off that same feet, they have it hanging off the back, which is fine, because that that is a how the G1 toys originally were, and uh, it, it's. But otherwise, I mean, 
just looking at the pictures and even seeing the pictures of, of the prototypes or whatever they were at the New York Comic Con in that di diorama, it looked very similar articulation wise and stuff like that, if not in the total finish, you know, uh, to like the masterpiece grapple. Um, which, I mean, you know, they're, they're both going for the same look, so it would make sense. But yes, I'm very excited to get this guy too. And uh, turns out they don't show it off here, but he. He does have the option where you like a flip, you can flip the fist around and have like the one of his hands be kind of a like the little cannon or something like that. So that's pretty cool. I don't know if that's so so important for Grapple, but if for Inferno, who is almost certainly going to be coming, um, is uh, I think is a little bit more important. So let's see who is next. Next is Starscream. So yeah. You thought we were done getting the Seekers in Siege. Well, no, that was just the Cybertron mode Seekers. So we're starting off the Earth mode Seekers here in Earthrise. Naturally, we start off with the lead Seeker himself, Starscream. And he is a Voyager class. And um, it's very similar, a lot of people have said, and I totally agree with them. Very similar to the Classics Starscream Seeker mold uh, from many years ago. I... That came out a little bit before I started collecting. By the time I st started getting into it, the only one that was really left available to me was Thundercracker. I do have a Thundercracker from that mold. Uh, it's a deluxe size, so it's a little undersized for what a Seeker should be, but ultimately it is a pretty good figure. So Now, it's obviously not the same figure, it, but it, it is very similar. Um, but again, how, how different can you do uh, F-15 into this style of a robot? It's going to be very similar no matter what you do. Um, this guy's obviously bigger. He's Voyager class, not Deluxe class. And probably he's got a little bit more detailing. I'm sure he's got the little blast effect ports on him. Probably some extra little line work and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, Oktar. <laughs> That's right. Um, there. So, so yeah, I, I, I'm looking forward to this guy. Um and if they do come out with a Thundercracker and Skywarp of him, I'll probably get them too. But I might call it quits after that. I don't think I'll be buying Rainmakers and Red Wings and stuff like that. I kind of fell into that trap with the uh, with Siege there. So, yeah, I think last but not least is, of course, Leader Class Optimus Prime. Well, again, we saw him last week. And this guy looks amazing. And these these pictures here, I don't think really do him justice as much as if you if you go and find the images that people have done, have put up from you know the various Cybertron.com and TFW2005.com and all, all, they're all over the place. Where in the diorama, he looks amazing. The the truck mode it looks to be of roughly a Voyager class figure with the trailer. And some accessories very similar to the shockwave and everybody complained about the shockwave which makes sense because all that accessories didn't fit the shockwave figure but the trailer makes sense with optimus prime and somebody pointed out and i think they're right this is probably the first time or at least the first time in a long time that we got an optimus a g1 style optimus prime figure in a main line with a trailer not a masterpiece. A masterpiece has been coming with the trailer. The movie Optimus Primes have come with trailer. But an actual G1 style Optimus Prime. It's been a very long time that we actually got an Optimus Prime with a trailer. So uh, very cool. And I, I'm looking forward to uh, def definitely getting uh, this guy. And uh, Big Bronze Rim, you're absolutely right. It's crazy how G1 these guys look. And not only how, how G1 they look... But like I said, with Hoist and Grapple, how G1, it looks like that they actually will be transforming. Because it looks like a very G1 style transformation too. It's, it's almost like they took that same G1 toy with the same transformation and just added articulation. Uh, so, yeah. So I, I'm I'm really looking forward to this, uh, this new Earthrise line. Not just because of Hoist, but just because uh, they all honestly look really good and uh i'm excited about the possibility of inferno coming i'm excited about the possibility of trailbreaker coming bumblebee coming you know so it's it's kind of funny as much as people in the transformers community complain about repaints we're always speculating and looking forward to the eventual repaints <laughs> right 
So yeah, definitely uh, looking forward to what else the Earthrise um, line has to show has has in store for us. Uh, you know, I, I didn't even think about it, uh, but uh, they kind of showed off a prototype head for the next Titan class figure to come, Scorponok. Uh, they showed off uh, Zarak, who was the headmaster head for Scorponok back in G1, and c clearly is going to be the same case for Scorponok here in the... I, I assume he's going to be the Earthrise branded Titan, so that's actually really really cool and uh, not at all surprised that it's Scorponok because if you remember back a few years ago there was a vote which Titan do you want to come next after we got Fortress Maxis which Titan do you want to come next vote for Trypticon vote for Omega Supreme vote for Scorponok those were your three choices Trypticon obviously won because we got him first we just got Omega Supreme well, that's two of the three. Who's the third one? Scorponok. What that was, to me, it was pretty obvious at the time that the reason we had those three options is because they were developing all three. And they put it to the vote to the fans, not to decide which one do we want them to start developing. It's more, which one do they want? Uh, do we want them to release first? They, were going, they had plans to release all three of them, no matter what. But we got to choose which one came first. And Trypticon was the one, but here we are. Omega Supreme, it was this close to being on my doorstep <laughs> today. Uh, and then Scorponok is going to be coming uh, soon. Okay, let's check into the chat here. Let's see. Oh, Grand Galvatron got Nexus. Oh, sorry, man. Um, yeah, good news about Nexus is that you won't ever have to worry about getting it again. <laughs> That's about the only good news about Nexus. Uh, what about Power Masters? Haven't heard anything about Power Masters. Yeah, Zarek did look look really good. Okay, well, if, if that Autumn Link is not working, I told, like I said, I, I tried to put that together. I thought it was going to work. Uh, so if it's not, I'll, I'll take a look at it uh, after the stream is done, and I'll try try to fix it. Um, I'm sure it's been shared off somewhere else. In fact, it may even be on the Transformers Earthwars Facebook page or Twitter. So you can go check that out. Scorponok was a headmaster. The interesting thing about Scorponok, and I actually have the G1 Scorponok, um, still from childhood. Um, he was a larger headmaster. He wasn't as big as Fortress Maximus, which, which was a little bit disappointing, especially because they were depicted in the cartoon as being the same size. But he was definitely, he was about Metroplex size as far as a toy. So larger than a standard toy, but um, and definitely larger than a normal headmaster. But Zarak was a standard headmaster size. Um, but he did kind of have a helmet, which made his head appear bigger. Uh, from the figure that we saw, that prototype that we saw in there, it looks like the helmet sort of thing, which had the horns. Uh, looks like that, those were kind of like on the arms of Zarak. So it looks to me like... Zarek is now not just going to be that tiny little white part of the uh, like the G1 Scorponok head, but he's actually going to incorporate the the helmet part of the uh, the G1 Scorponok head. So, <laughs> dread alert, man! If I if I could if I could take you to TFCon, I would. I mean, if if you could make it, I mean, that would be so cool to hang out with you up there. Um, one of these days, I'm going to get over there to, what is it, Megacon over, over here? Uh, I know you like to go over to that. One of these days, uh, um, I'll, I'll uh, make it over there. We could hang out over there. Um, I just, I just for whatever reason, I don't notice that it's coming. Because, you know, it's not a, only a Transformers convention. It's an everything convention. So, somehow I don't hear about it. So, um, it, uh so I'll try to pay attention to it, and, and, and we'll, we'll make some plans. We'll make some plans. All right, so. You're not going on Facebook. All right, man. That's fine. All right, so here we are. We're in the game. Guess You know what time it is, guys. Oh, my goodness. We're, we're already 45 minutes in, and we're just finished with the news. That's how much news there was this week. Crazy amount of news. Uh, we got a lot of crystals to crack. We've got 50 crystals 
Uh, the two crystals it says are available to claim is because I have prime cores and I can get some G-Metal chips. I'm not getting G-Metal chips. I'm saving for the uh, uh, prime core chips. So look at all these crystals. We've got a whole bunch of them. we got some free crystals here. We'll just go ahead and get out of the way. I don't know why I didn't crack them. 2,000 spark. That's not bad for a free crystal. And uh, force field. And a snarl. Get the nice little combiner spark. How about some? These are guardian crystals. These are three, four, and five star shards. Nice. Got ten of those there. Three star shards. More three star shards. <laughs> skip. <laughs> hey man, if you want to skip on out of here, that's fine. Four star shards. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I, I almost forgot I had these crystals before, but until I logged into the game, getting ready to, get ready to stream, right be right before, I was like, oh my goodness, I got all these crystal shards that I need to go crack. Um, okay, so let's bronze power core chips. Let's go see what kind of food we're gonna get. We got anti-air laser food. We got self repair food. Rejuvenate food. <laughs> Slow down photon. And enhanced ordnance. Next time, skip the news just for the fun of it. <laughs> uh, well, I do stream sometimes uh, where I haven't done the news, so. It is annoying to see the crystals for yes, it is annoying to see that because it's going to keep telling me that I've got crystals available when I have no intention of using my prime core shards for them. Alright, silver power core chips. Gives us a tactician, that's food. Anti air laser. Well I guess I've I've got a lot of gold chips, so these are all food really. EMP shock and the gold power cord chip gives us a gold. Ooh, gave us a G metal rejuvenate. Wow! Holy cow! A gold power cord, gold power cord chips will drop G metal cores. Wow! That was pretty cool. I was not expecting that. Wow. All right. Three star crystal. Gives us a Rodimus Prime. Just for the fun of it, I got a few Decepticon Premium Crystals. Let's go. Scrapper. And on top of it being G-Metal, is actually a pretty good G-Metal one. It rejuvenates a good core. Duplicate Bombshell. Rampage. What does that do for your bot? Uh, every, every few seconds, it, it, it adds a, a percentage of health back. It heals your bot as they're, during the battle. So it's it's very very good. One of the one of the better cores in the game. That's not a spe bot specific or prime core kind of a core. So definitely rejuvenates are definitely uh, prime to get. All right, so we get let's go to got nothing from the Decepticon side. So we've got some Autobot Premium crystals. Any chance we get a decent Slipstream toy in Earthrise? Probably not, is my guess. One can hope. I'm only thinking that because they do tend... To, they are kind of sticking very G1 right now. Uh, and Slipstream really wasn't in G1. 
Uh, Slipstream first showed up in Transformers Animated, and she's actually uh, kind of a main character in Cyberverse right now, if I recall. I, you know, her arc may have ended. I haven't seen the last few episodes, but she was kind of taken over like a the almost a Starscream type of a role. Uh, Takara did release a version of Slipstream, which was a uh, remold of Windblade, uh, very similar to that, which was which is what the Slipstream in the game is based on. It's actually a pretty good little figure. So, I'm gonna say probably not for Earthrise, but it would be. But I agree, it would be nice to see. I'd get her. Three star Jumpstream. There's a Star Saber. What do you say? He's got a G Metal Rejuvenate on Sentius. Yeah, that's a good pairing. That's a good one. It would be cool if we get tracks in Earthrise. Now that is a bot that there is a chance that they may show up because that would totally fit with the G1 Earth style uh, toys that it seems like they're going for. Ultra Magnus. Still missing four star of that guy. Impactor. Oh, I gotta tell you, I was at Epcot over at Disney this past weekend. Uh, should give you a little hint of uh, the general area where I live. And um, I always like to stop in the Japanese store, uh, the Mitsukoshi. Um, because they it be in J Japan and it's kind of like a Japanese department store. They do have transformers from time to time. I went in there. Uh, we're going to take a break from the uh, from the crystal cracking for a second. I went in there and they had Impactor. I haven't seen Impactor anywhere locally, but at the Mitsukoshi at Epcot, they had Impactor. The problem is, for one or both of the, these reasons, a it's Disney. And B, it is actually a Japanese store, so it's likely it was an import from Takara Tomy. It actually was $33. So I was like, you know, I've got him pre-ordered somewhere else for a normal price. I'm going to wait. They had Barricade, too, and I was tempted to get Barricade because I didn't actually have him pre-ordered anywhere. Uh, but again, I was like, I'll find him. I'm not going to spend the money. I'll just wait. And that was actually smart because just the other day, I went over to my local Target and found Barricade. And uh, I also happened to find Mirage from Siege. So, uh, but no Impactor to be found over there. Um, but yeah, it was it was still, it was pretty cool to see Impactor there. And I was like, oh, I really wanted to get it. But I, 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 I restrained myself and ch chose not to get it. Um, yeah, okay, back, back to the crystal cracking. There's Drift. See if that pause for story time helped out to any, but it doesn't look like it so far. Uh, first aid. Your Autobot friend got knockout from, from that place. Yeah. You know, the, the only Transformer figure I actually have purchased from a theme park because it, but, uh, at the higher price was the theme park exclusive figure at Universal Studios Evac is basically the uh is basically the ride vehicle from the Transformers ride. Um it's actually a pretty good little toy. Uh is this a standard deluxe style so it's not worth the price, but he's exclusive to the theme park. You, you know, that's you, you pay that price or you don't get him. You know, so no Nightbot is not a real person. It's it's a bot that helps moderate, which you know, I could probably turn turn off that moderation now that I got to uh, Grand Galvatron and Big Bronze Rim helping out. Have you crossed the Humbling River? Oh, you had to bring that up, dude. I, I gotta tell you, I love that seat that cuts that trailer with the Humbling River from Pusifer in the um, for uh, Fall of Cybertron. I love, love that trailer. I watch it every so often. And I actually have the song on my iPod, and, and I just li basically listen to it on shuffle when I'm at work. And when that song comes on and I'm at work, I stop what I'm doing and just close my eyes and just focus on that song. That is such a, an amazing song, and it takes me right back to that trailer. So, Ashley, thank you for that. Yes, absolutely. 
Uh, have I crossed it? Yeah, I. if you listen to what the point of that song is, um, I, I, I'm, still tr I'm still trying to cross the Humbling River in, in some aspects of my life. Um, but, uh, but yeah, well, powerful song, beautiful song. Meanwhile, our, uh, crystal cracking is, uh, turning out to be, uh, dupe city here. There's a star saver. And last but not least... We have a four-star crystal. Let's do it. And it's five-star shards from a four-star jazz. And got a gold G1 jazz power core, which I've already got one of those on my four-star jazz. Maybe I'll throw it on my three-star jazz for safekeeping uh, until maybe I get a five-star jazz. Gets paid for listening to music. No, I, music helps me focus. Um, I, I don't, I don't know about it. Every, everybody's different, okay? Everybody's different, but um, I, I don't know what it is. But uh, if if I'm sitting there in silence and I'm trying to focus on something, uh, there's other people around. I hear other people for whatever reason. It's not like I'm nosy and want to eavesdrop, but my brain says, "Hey, there's something else going on over here." Um, and, or, or even if there's nobody else around, it's just silent. I'm trying to focus on something. My brain saying, Hey, 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 there's something else, something else. You can, Hey, 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 it's kind of like the little fairy in the uh, legend of Zelda Ocarina of time. Hey, listen, Hey, Hey, you know, so that, that's, that's like my brain. Uh, when I'm, when it's quiet, I'm trying to focus on something. And, you know, some people work well with TV. I can't do that because TV there's something about it make you know there's a picture something for you to look at so the brain saying hey look 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 you hear that sound yeah go look at this but music is different there's no picture associated with it. it's just music so if so if i'm sitting here focused on something and i've got music going on in my head that keeps that other part of my brain happy it just sits there and, and it's just it, it it's not bothering me and i can focus on my work I can, so so it's I get most of my work done if I've got music on. It can't be TV, can't be any kind of video or anything like that. But if I put headphones on, or if I'm home alone or or something, I could you know blast a stereo or whatever. But if I've got that music on, I can focus on work and really crank out some stuff, especially things that re really require some intense focus. And uh, so yeah, so that's what I do. But Every now and then, that song, will, that humbling river song, will come on. It's just like, okay, stop. Yeah, it's like I'm gonna take five minutes and just listen to this song. So, I have not played the Armada PS2 game. I, I believe it, that that was when PS2 was out. That was the time when I really wasn't into Transformers a whole lot. Yeah, especially the whole the whole Unicron trilogy, Armada, Cybertron, uh, Energon. Uh, I I, did, I haven't still haven't seen it to this day. I just was not into Transformers at the time. It wasn't until 2007 and that first Bayformers movie came out. That's what really got me back back into the fandom. Yeah, Navi. Yeah, you know, it's interesting. You, you want to know why why the fairy was called Navi? Because it's like she's helping you with the navigation. Right? At least that's my theory. It's because she helps you get where you're going. It's like a navigator. At least that's my theory on that. Um, believe Sky Rain and Wreckage will be the next combiners? No. A Sky Rain a possibility? Uh, not Wreckage. Wreckage was a Transformers Collector Club subscription service. So not only did you have to be you know, pay for a collector club subscription. You had to pay extra for the for the subscription service figures to to get wreckage. That's way too uh, niche, way too uh, non widespread. Uh, Doesn't really say. Uh, not not a good way of saying it, but it's it's way too small of a, a group for for wreckage. I think to 
uh, be there. I mean, if you're going to do that, I mean, you could go with Thunder Mayhem. Or what about Tripredicus? They did, uh, like, for uh, one of the BotCon sets, they, they made some Beast Wars-style figures that combined into a Tripredicus combiner. Uh, you're not going to see that. You're not going to see Wreckage. You're not going to see Thunder Mayhem. Where you took, where you had like the Mayhem Attack Squad, like Bludgeon and Needle Nose and Spinister and and uh, Ruckus and Wind Sweeper. That one might not be right. Uh, combined into like a Thunder Mayhem, which was kind of a Thunderwing kind of a thing. But you're not gonna see those guys. Sky Rain, because it was a mainline Combiner Wars combiner, I'm afraid that's a real possibility. I'd rather not see that. Especially being this far down past Combiner Wars and that not being a c traditional combiner. Um, but uh, it's it, the, the bots are there except for Trailbreaker. Trailbreaker was uh, part of that, but you know the nature of Combiner Wars and being Scramble City, especially those combiners who weren't did, composed of teams, it could really be anybody. Uh, but uh, I'm agreeing with Big Bronze Rim. Computron is the most likely thing. Now, now it, we're, we're probably not talking to you, but for another year and a half. We'll, Unicron will probably have arrived at everybody's house as we're, by the time that we're getting new combiners in the game. Just because the, the first few came out really quick because they wanted to get, up get them into the game because they were new. But if you notice, uh, we just got Defense Horn Abominus and it was almost a year and a half between that one and the previous ones, Victorian and Menasaur. I'm thinking it's probably going to be at least that amount of time before we see the next combiners. And I'm thinking right now, the next combiners are going to be composed of bots that we do not have in the game at all right now. If I, if I had to speculate, uh, I, I would say the next combiners are going to be Computron and Piranicon. Because we've got the Seacons coming out in the Generation Select. They may even call him King Poseidon. Because uh, that's what he was called over in the Japanese market. Um, but th th that's my guesses for the next two combiners. is going to be Computron and Piranicon. But we're talking uh, 2021 time frame, probably. So. Broadly known. Thank you, my guess. The, talking about uh, the wreckage, not as broadly known as the other ones. That was not in my head at all, <laughs> by the way. But but you but but that was that was what I was looking for. Is Ratchet a substitution? Yeah yeah, Ratchet was a. Uh, I do believe Ratchet was used in the uh, Unite Warriors, the Japanese version of Combiner Wars. Rat Trap definitely leader style bot. Yes. I'm pretty sure we would see Rat Trap and uh, Dinobot coming at some point. And um, who would their counterparts be? That's that's. Uh, Di Dinobot's a tough one. Uh, Di Dinobot, I think, would be like the um, pro probably like the available for both factions, because you know, obviously. Um, uh, Dinobot started off as a Predacon and then uh, tra changed over to Maximals. Uh, plus, then also the Predacon is kind of built, what, Dinobot 2, I think. So, Dinobot makes sense for a both factions style bot. And Rat Trap, uh, Inferno, the, the Ant, that might be, that would be a fun one in the uh, dialogue. For the queen! For the royalty! <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen the Beast Wars, but, uh, you know, my, I always knew of G, uh, G1 Inferno, the, the, you know, the fire truck bot, and then people were saying, Beast Wars Inferno, oh, come on, what, what, what's Beast Wars Inferno? Then I watched Beast Wars, and I'm like, oh, I see what everybody's saying. This, <laughs> that, that ant is crazy. Insane, man. Uh, what do you think the new trailer would come out? I don't know, man. Probably in probably within the next month or so, maybe for maybe for these the new bots, or if not for the new bots, maybe the next set of new bots. I would say so. I would say if not, what two three weeks from now, I would say that plus another month. That is my somewhere somewhere within the next 
six to eight weeks. I know I sound like a credit card or a rebate or something, but <laughs> sometime, sometime in the next four to eight weeks. <laughs> uh. Death Charge and Rampage. Yeah, that would be a good pairing, you know, with their rivalry. Do you consider Galvatronus a combiner? Oh, like with Cyclonus? He's in this he's in, he's in the same uh kind of in the same arena as Sky Rain. He was kind of, kind of invented just for the Combiner Wars toy line. There was one time in the comics, which I don't know if it was even Cyclo. I don't think it was even Cyclonus that did it, but uh, I think it was actually Galvatron. It was near the Enigma of Combination, and it, it was nobody who was actually a, a Combiner. Like he had Astro Train as an arm, and uh, I don't even remember who else it was. But they they were Galvatronus for like uh, two panels, and then they got broken apart or whatever. So. Um, I, I don't I don't see that happening either. So, all right. Um, one last question uh, from Ashley. What are your thoughts on the Transformers the movie from G One? Love it. Uh, th there's uh, many times where I'll be sitting here on the weekend or in the evening, just kind of grinding through an event, play playing the um, playing Transformers Earth Wars, and I've got the movie on the TV and as I'm sitting here playing I'm saying I'm reciting the lines along with the movie and occasionally um, I'll even actually go into the chat and uh, do lines uh, I'll type out lines from from the movie it even to the point where I'll go and I'll change my avatar to the speaker at one time I actually went and did the whole exchange with cup and Grimlock about Petra rabbits uh, uh, switch between Cup and Grimlock. Talk, you know, tell Grimlock about Petra Rabbits. I'll give you Petra Rabbits. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, yeah, yes. Uh, I love the movie. Like, like any good Transformers fan. I'm kidding. You don't have to like the movie to be a good Transformers fan. Um, but, but yeah, no, I, I love the movie. I, you know, it, it, nostalgia is a powerful thing. So. Flash player, I don't need you updating right now in the middle of a stream. <laughs> I don't even use you. Flash, I don't even use you anymore. What are you even asking about an update for? Anyway. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it. I do appreciate everybody stopping by. Uh, good luck in the event. I hope you get five-star shards. If you're close to a five-star crystal, I hope you get the one that you want. Uh, looking forward to all the new Earthrise uh, toys coming out, especially Hoist. And uh, I did put the link into my Amazon store if you want to go and pre-order the, uh, the Earthrise figures. Or I've got links to the Siege figures, including the Amazon exclusive Siege sets with, with Skywarp and the G2 Sideswipe. And also a, a clear Mirage with Impactor kind of a gift set. So those that's not even out yet. Uh, so so there, there's uh, stuff in there. So um, that's going to do it. And it's time to head on out of here. I'm Engineer Hoist. Keep rolling, my friends, and we'll see you next time.